Hi all, Andy here and welcome to today's video which covers how and where to jack your Audi TT Mark 1. So if you're watching to understand how to raise the vehicle up using the small jack that comes with the car and the space saver wheel because maybe you're broken down, then please forward the video to this point here where you can watch that. However, I'm going to undertake the majority of this from a non-mechanic home slash DIY mechanic standpoint. Following the steps in this video, it will give you access to the underneath of the vehicle to undertake various jobs. I will also cover taking the wheel off, although I have covered that in my drive shaft removal video, which is linked here. Before we start, three little safety points to mention. One, never work under the vehicle if you're on your own, always have someone with you. Two, always make sure you're on flat level firm ground when you're jacking the vehicle and three always make sure you've got suitable eye protection on to prevent any falling debris and dust when you're actually underneath the vehicle for raising the vehicle up you will need a pair of axle stands mine are rated to two and a half tons and i bought them from amazon for about 23 pounds you will also need a hydraulic trolley jack to get the vehicle in the air. The one I have is a two ton rated hydraulic jack made by Sealy and cost me about 45 pounds. It's also a low profile version due to the body kit on the Audi so you can slide it straight underneath. It's also wise to have a pair of wheel chocks that you can jam under the wheels to stop the car from rolling should the handbrake or the gearbox fail. So we'll cover this in two parts. We'll cover jack in the front of the car and jack in the rear of the car. We'll also show how to support the vehicle on axle stands once we've got it in the air. So let's start with part one, which is going to be raising the front of the vehicle and supporting the axle stands. Before you start, make sure you're on flat ground and you've engaged first gear to prevent wheel movement. Rolling the trolley jack under the car about one foot behind the front wheel. Align the saddle of the jack, that's the part that will come into contact with the car, with one of the two chassis rails indicated on the diagram in blue. There is one on either side of the exhaust pipe and they are fairly obvious as they protrude from the underside of the car. Find a good spot around one third distance from the rear of the rail and start jacking. Once the vehicle is at your desired height, place one of the axle stands under the chassis rail around one third of the distance from the front. Remove the handle from your trolley jack and gently release the pressure screw to lower the car onto the axle stand. Simply go around to the other side of the car and repeat the process to secure the front of the vehicle on axle stands. If I'm only working on the front of the car, I tend to put the jack back into position and in firm but gentle contact with the rail once more for added safety. So with the front of the car jacked up, let's switch our attention to the rear of the car. So looking from the rear of the vehicle, we can see this bar here is part of the chassis. It's in line with the rear wheels and the axle. So we're gonna take the jack, put it underneath this strut, and lift the vehicle straight up. So let's roll the jack underneath that now. The rear of the vehicle is supported by the jack as we can see. We can now show where we're going to place the axle stand. So looking at the rear wheel and literally coming in front by about, I'd say about a foot and about six inches in from the inside, you can see there's this round mount right here. And um, this is what they would use in a garage uh, with the hydraulic lift. So taking an axle stand, We can place that underneath. The hydraulic mount, careful not to pinch any wires. So you can see that sitting quite comfortably on that. Just gonna run around the side and place the other axle stand in position. Okay, the car is now supported on both sides of axle stands. So now all that's left to do is lower the jack and get the car to sit quite comfortably on top of these axle stands. So let's give that a go. 
Turning the jack pressure screw anti-clockwise with the end of the handle lowers the jack. Remove the jack. And you can see the car is quite happily sitting off the floor on the axle stands. We've got plenty of room to work underneath. Jobs are good at. So you've got a flat tire or a puncher. You need to change the wheel, but you've only got the tools that came with the car. How do you do this? As you'd expect with Audi, the tool kit is presented in a very aesthetically pleasing platform that sits on top of the space saver wheel in the boot. So let's take a look at that now. So if we lift the vanity panel back, we can see the space saver wheel and it's retaining nut. So let's remove that. So with the panel out of the way, we can see the tool kit, which comprises of the factory jack that comes with the car, the wheel brace for undoing the nuts, it also has a towing eye, small spanner, the alloy locking nut key. Even comes with a, I think a polythene sheet so you don't get dirty when you're doing the jobs. Great. So we'll use these tools to show you how to get the space saver wheel on and off. So there's the space saver wheel. It's a bit awkward to get out. You can see it's very narrow. And if I remember rightly, they are limited to 50 miles an hour or 80 kilometers. So you don't want to be driving too far or too fast on these. First thing we need to do is get this center cap off. So we can use the reversible screwdriver just to pop that off. So obviously keep that to one side because that will be going with the wheel but won't be going back on at this time. So you do need to loosen these nuts before you get the car off the ground. So while the vehicle's under load, you do need to loosen the nuts off. <coughs> do not remove the nuts at this time though. So the next thing, you'll see that the jack has this lip. And that's so that can fit around the sill of the vehicle. So the idea is we'll put this, it's also hinged, so this will fit into the sill of the vehicle. This part will sit on the floor and with the handle you literally turn it and it should raise the vehicle. So finding a suitable place on the sill, what I tend to do is make sure it fits in okay, which it does. You can see it hinges quite easily. And then we start to lower it down. So you can see that's now coming down to the ground. So you can see the bottom of the jack is contact with the floor, nice and firm. This is resting around the sill, so it's a nice tight fit. It's not doing any damage. Then we literally turn the handle clockwise and the vehicle should start to go up in the air. So with the wheel off the ground, we can now remove the bolts. And the last bolt, be careful because the wheel will potentially fall off. This time it hasn't. So let's get that off the vehicle, out of the way. Should also be noted that due to the size of the alloy, it's really difficult to actually get that in the boot of this car. So. Um, hence why there is a space saver. Um, if you do have to take the wheel off to put the space saver on, you may struggle to get that in the boot. Might need to go on the passenger seat. Anyway, let's get the space saver on. <clears throat> Nasty looking space saver. Well, before we do, what is that? <coughs> Ah, looks like uh, birds decide to make a nest in the uh, 
in the rear bumper or fender right, so that's it so let's get that uh, so line up the holes which we've now got you can literally hold this with one hand this wheel it's so small and light so let's get these on finger tight just do that up so it's fairly tight for now and then we'll give it a final tight and when the vehicle's under load and the vehicle's back on the ground again as mentioned the wheel itself is limited to 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles an hour so bear that in mind no speeding or you'll end up melting the tire or it will fall apart on you so my advice is use this in an emergency only get the car to the garage get that tire changed and get it back on the car um, takes the garage they'll probably fit it for you so let's see all that's left for me to do now is unwind the jack get the vehicle back on the ground tighten these nuts to the level that you can't turn them and you're good to go so thanks for watching i hope you found the video helpful if you have then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe for future content and uh, see you soon take care